I do not feel sorry for myself. I am a survivor, not a victim. And I, it's just what I want to keep a track of and report. So not complaining, just explaining is often a motto that I use. So just to try to remember that one. Um, she has, Maria reports that she is, if she is having a migraine free day, then she will leave. Then she might have ulcer breakouts, which will often bleed up to three or four ulcers I can have, and they can be bleeding as one really bad on the right at the moment. Um, therefore spending many of her days just being sick and quite often needing assistance or running through a dose of antibiotics, which I try to minimize. Or coping with what, with those spasms that are painful and waiting for when I can have the medication that kind of tones them down a little, which we are weaning me off. Doesn't make sense, but anyway. Um, most of my days being sick and quite often needing assistance that is not available for her. She has tried acupuncture, chiropractor, physiotherapy, massage, psychology, EMDR, CBT, etc. Psychiatry, dry needling, fascia work, yoga and walking. Yoga and walking cause pain after 10 minutes. So she has no, she has to, she often has to sacrifice either food or fuel to afford these services. She feels she would benefit more so from the right practitioner rather than the modality used. Chiropractor, the right physiotherapist and fascia work with dry needling done in combination are the therapies she gets the most relief from. Given her attached budget, Appendix C, it is extremely hard to maintain. She is currently on Botox Mitochrome Protocol. Orendobula and Dystonia Protocol. Botox Migraine is giving her approximately 60% relief after time and 40% from dystonic spasticity. Yeah, I'm a spastic and someone said don't say it, but... I'm technically a spastic and that's okay. I'm I'm okay with that. It's it's what it's called and it has a name and I'm okay with that, even though if my clients would come in and didn't want naming it and just be these some of the symptoms you have and it's okay, we are all different. But I know that it's a spasticity, which technically I'm a spastic and I'm rightfully allowed to call myself that. Every one hour when the Botox is wearing off around two to three weeks before and for at least one to two weeks after her 12 weekly injections, her spasms can be every 10 minutes approximately. Difficulty eating and chewing, but it wears off before she's due to return, but she remains constant in her pain. She has tried multiple medications to control her migraines. Please find the list of meds along with their effects on Maria. Okay, I'll do another part.